What many people do not understand about living through years, or even in some cases decades, of narcissistic abuse is that it's not just the abuse itself that the victim has to come to understand, grieve, and heal from, but it's also coming to terms with all that comes right along with the abuse itself. Healing involves coming to terms with all of the people who looked the other way. It's the lack of outrage and disgust that friends and family should feel but don't. It's coping with our abuser, behaving like what they did to us over and over and over never happened. It's the constant and continual excuses we have to hear about our abuser's actions from people we know when there is no excuse. It's the constant comments from ignorant people who tell us to let it go, move on, and stop dwelling in the past. It's the crimes that were committed against us that never see justice. It's the assumptions that the victim must have done something to deserve or provoke the abuse. It's the people who know you were abused and remain friends with the abuser. It's knowing our abuser has smeared us with filthy lies and no one cares or bothers to get our side of the story. It's dealing with the isolation after our escape that was designed by our abuser. It's figuring out how to survive after the financial ruin committed by our abuser. It's grappling with the corruption of the family courts and their unwillingness to protect us. It's understanding the complex trauma we now have and our damaged nervous system. It's grieving the person we once were who is now dead and buried and will never be seen again. It's figuring out how to function in a post-abuse world where we no longer feel safe or trust anyone. It's the shame we feel for not knowing or finding the courage to leave sooner. It's trying to figure out a way to help our children who were manipulated and harmed in the process. So victims do not only have to learn how to heal from the abuse of the narcissist, we have to learn how to survive after surviving.